आस्पिरेंट्स वेलकम टू प्रेप जॉय करेंट अफेर्स आई स्वाति नायक इन आई यूट्यूब चैनल बिरानी प्रोडेली करेंट अफेर्स क्विजेस फ्रॉम आप प्रेप जॉय ऐप वी पुट अप अ वीडियो एवरी डे सो सब्सक्राइब टू आई यूट्यूब चैनल क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन बिलो टू गेट डेली अपडेट्स सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे इज व्हिच कंट्री हैज बीन इंक्लूडेड इन द एफएटीएफ ग्रे लिस्ट रिसेंटली द आंसर इज यूएई When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is FATF stands for the Financial Action Task Force. The second question for the day is who has released the Center for Science and Environment status of India's Environment Report 2022? The answer is Bhupender Yadav. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is according to the report, India's ranking has slipped due to substantial challenges in 11 SDGs. The third question for the day is who has presented National ICT awards to 49 teachers across the country for improving educational institutions. The answer is Anpurna Devi. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is the ICT awardees are expected to act as ICT ambassadors. The fourth question for the day is which former Indian Army chief has passed away recently? The answer is Sunit Francis Rodriguez. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is. He headed the Indian Army between 1990 and 1993. The fifth question for the day is: Which medal has Miss Nivetha won in the women's 10 meter air pistol event in the recent ISSF World Cup? The answer is gold. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is: A total of seven countries have won medals so far. The book for the day is Master Guide SSC CGL Combined Graduate Level Pre Exam Tier One 2022. Master Guide SSC CGL Pre Exam Tier One is prepared according to the online exam pattern. The guide is divided into four major sections. Each section is accompanied with five section tests. Separate section has been allotted to current affairs. Previous year solved papers, mock tests, and crack shots for thorough practice. The Staff Selection Commission or SSC has been one of the most desired organizations for Indian examination. The publisher of the book is Haryan Publication, and the price of the book is four hundred and sixty-four rupees. The sixth question for the day is: Recently, the seventy-fifth anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between India and which country has been celebrated? The answer is Netherlands. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is: India and the Netherlands established diplomatic relations in nineteen forty-seven. The seventh question for the day is: Who has been appointed by SEBI as its deputy managing director recently? The answer is Nitin Chok. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is: SBI was founded on 1st of July in 1955. The eighth question for the day is: Who has become the first depository in the world to register more than 60 million DMAT accounts? The answer is Central Depository Service Limited, India. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is. A DMAT account is a kind of account that can be used to keep online copies of the securities and shares. The ninth question for the day is: Where has India's first smart managed EV charging station started? The answer is New Delhi. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is: It will be available on both Android and iOS platforms. The tenth question for the day is: Where has the trial of the country's first indigenous flying train of aircraft? Hansa NG completed recently. The answer is Puducherry. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is it was developed by CSIR National Aerospace Laboratories, Bangalore. Download Pripjoy app from Play Store and App Store and get access to amazing e-books. The link is provided below in the description box. You get a variety of e-books from almost all the publishers of India. There are free and also paid e-books. So click on the link below and explore Pripjoy app. The eleventh question for the day is: Who has recently inaugurated Tech Conclave 2022? The answer is Ashwini Vaishnav. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is the theme for NIC Tech Conclave 2022 is Next Gen Technologies for Digital Government. The twelfth question for the day is: Which state government has recently initiated Amma and Bahini scheme? The answer is Sikkim. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is. CM Prem Singh Tamang said these schemes would be started from this year itself. The second question for the day is who has been appointed as the chairman of Telecom Dispute Settlement and Appellate Tribunal? The answer is D N Patel. 
When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is former top court judge justice Shiva Kirti Singh is the incumbent chairperson of TVSIT. The 14th question for the day is Recently, at what age has the former Australian wicketkeeper Rod Marsh passed away? The answer is 74. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, in 2014, he was appointed as the Australia's Chairman of Selectors. Download Pripjoy app from Play Store and App Store and get access to amazing ebooks. The link is provided below in the description box. You get a variety of ebooks from almost all the publishers of India. They are free and also paid ebooks. So click on the link below and explore Pripjoy app. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments if you have downloaded the Joy app. If you haven't, find the link in the description. And I'll see you all tomorrow at 6pm. Happy learning.